Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge and welcome to another one of these kind of uh, quickie videos that I'm doing. <laughs> I know that's a funny way to explain it because my videos are generally not as quickie as other people's quickie but for me a video that's less than a half hour is kind of a quickie. So anyway, <laughs> um, if you saw, I don't know which video I ended up putting up first so I'm sorry but you'll notice I'm wearing the same cute little outfit here. I'm wearing a t-shirt. This is my cute, um, this is a t-shirt for the 13, um, because it's for the awesome witches in, or blah, 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 blah. It's for the witches in Throne of Glass, and I love it. But when I film, I need either a shirt that's a v-neck or like something over to put my mic on, because when I put the mic right here, it gives this a little bit of a weird thing. Anyway, it's a thing. But anyway, I'm in the same outfit as another video because I'm filming these videos I'd seen around that are the worst books according to Goodreads and best books according to Goodreads that like I've read. Um, and I already filmed the worst ones. And so now I'm going to do the best ones. Okay. So the way that I was doing this, um, in case again, this is the first video you're seeing, you go into your Goodreads, you go to the books you've read, and then you click on the average rating thing. And if you click it once, it'll show you the best. And if you click it again, it'll show you the worst. And it'll be average rating based on what everyone else has rated it. And then I'm going through um, like 10 to 15, it just depends, and kind of chatting on like if I agree with it being rated so highly or not. I'm very interested to do the highest rated ones because I think it is, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot of traditionally published books and maybe some indie books that only a few people have liked, liked and read. Um, so I'm interested to see that. Um, if I have too many books in like the same series in a row, I'll skip just so that we get some variety. But let's go ahead and do this. I haven't peeked ahead of time, even though I'm doing it on my Chromebook, so I do kind of see ahead a little bit, but that's okay. It's still fun because we're going to chat about it. So I'm very excited. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. I'm also going to try to pick ones that have like been read multiple times because like one of the, so I'll tell you the very first one is literally sweet like poison, which I just read because there are only um, three of us who have rated it so far and we've all given it five stars. So we, I of course agree with the 4.93 rating that it has, but we'll move along here to the first like big one here. So the first one we have, this is too funny. I was just looking at this book yesterday. This book, Some Kind of Perfect. So this one was rated by, holy shit. This one was rated by 14,000 people. Krista Becker Ritchie. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Um, I'm actually selling my set of these books because I don't think that I'll reread them, but I did really enjoy this series when I binged it. I binged the Addicted and the Callaway series all together and it was great. But I gave this five stars um, and probably because it's an epilogue. I even wrote a little bit. I read this in February of 2020 and I never like write reviews. Like I literally said this. I said, I'm crying. I love these six messed up crazy people to watch them all grow and change and live. I am so glad I read this series after liking the Like Us series and their kids. Yeah, I did read the, the future series first. I can't wait to read more about them and visit Lo, Lily, Connor, Rose, Daisy, and Reich again soon. Oh, that just warmed my heart a little bit. No way in hell am I reading all of those trashy books again. And I say that with love. Y'all know when I say a book is trashy, it's because it warmed my heart. So a couple things to say. Number one, usually when you're reading like book five or an epilogue to a series, you're, it's the fans of the books that are reading it. So it totally makes sense that this has a 4.7 rating out of, you know, 14,000 people because like I was a fan by the time I was reading this epilogue and it's all just happy ever afters and wonderful hugs and kisses, you know, like there's no way it was going to be a bad thing, you know? So I agree with it. I agree that that one should be way up there. <gasps> Next. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let me see how many people rated this though, before I get too excited. Oh my God. I love it. The next one is Manacled. Ah! <laughs> Manacled also has a 4.7 rating and that's out of almost 13,000 ratings. Sinlin, you, you are a brilliant masterpiece. I 1000% agree with this book. I would gush 
I would gush so much for it. I have. This was my first six star read of the year. It was my first fanfic I ever read. And look what that has led to. So I absolutely agree with this. Um, this is a fan fiction about Dramione and Draco. It is oh, 370,000 words, y'all. That's how long it is. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's almost like it's huge. But it's fantastic and I love it and many of you have read it because I've recommended it as well as some of my fellow booktubers and friends and I adore it. I literally have a handbound copy right here that's going to be given away very soon. This was bound by my friend Mel um, and when I hit 15k I'm going to do a giveaway of this because um, I have a couple copies of it because my friends are fantastic. But anyway, I totally agree. And though it will probably be impossible, if not very difficult, for you to have a handbound copy of it, you can get it for free on an archive of our own. So go ahead and do that. All right, let's keep going. All right, see, and I was totally right. Like a bunch of these are all books that are very far into a series, but I don't care. I wanna keep going. So um, the next one that has a 4.68, it's funny, so many of these books are literally on the shelf right behind me. I love it. Okay, so this one's definitely out of a lot less um, ratings, but it's also a book very far into a series, like I said. So this one is Relentless Hunter, which is right there. That is book 10 in the Mafia Wars. So again, makes sense why it's rated so highly. There's actually another one of the series that is like right behind it, but I'll skip over that one. But this one has a 4.68 and it was a uh, 1,100 ratings. And yeah, this wrapped up the Mafia Wars, the O'Malley books, as well as like the Mafia Wars. And I loved it. It made me cry. It made me sob. I actually gave this one six stars as well. So loved it. Absolutely agree. Um, then Unchosen Ruler is here. And then, ooh, let's see how many ratings this one has. The next one that is my best book according to Goodreads, okay, okay, is Soar High by Sharice Sinclair, which that one is right over there. All <laughs> my favorite books are like behind me. This is book four in Sons of the Survivalist series. And this one uh, was out of 1,700 ratings okay um and this one is about a um kit who survived being imprisoned and beaten by the patriot zealots who are like they sound they are um a radical group in alaska and then she was rescued by her best friend and her best friends like her man <laughs> and his family and part of his family is a uh, hawk and he helps rescue her and then he's a scarred hero and so he definitely understands a thing or two about trauma and they like heal together and it's great so i absolutely agree i gave this one five stars it has a 4.66 um i adore this series so absolutely agree this is so far going great um then the next one um is Moth by Lily Maine. Let's see how many people have read this. Wow, okay, a lot of people have read this. I thought this wouldn't have that many. Oh, I'm so happy. This one um, has a 4.63 and almost 3,000 people have rated it. Oh, that makes me so happy because I love this series. Um, this one is, I think this, is, okay, so this is Moth. And Charlie, I think, and Charlie's the best friend of one of the heroes from an earlier book. And then Moth is a monster. And these are post-apocalyptic books and they're all gay romance. And I love it. I adore it. It makes me so happy. Okay, let's see if there's one that I <laughs> don't agree with. And it doesn't look like it. Like it doesn't look like it, okay? Cause then we have a Harry Potter, which I won't pull up. We all agree. Then we have the auction which um, I also happen to have sitting behind me, but I won't grab it. That is a fanfic by Love Bitka 8 also love it. Um, then we have Mist and Fury, which has a 4.62. Let's see how many people have rated it. I know it's like hundreds of thousands. So let's see how many it is just for fun. Holy fuck. <laughs> 
Okay, so this one has a 4.62. This is how you know this is a fucking golden book, okay? Because it is a 4.62 and it has 765,000 ratings, okay? And it was a Goodreads Choice Award of 2016. That is brilliant, brilliant. I've read this book so many times. I'll never get over it. I love it dearly. Um, we just read that last month for SJM Along. And these people who give it low ratings, I don't know where their soul is at. I, I don't know. I don't know where their soul is at. I, I question their sanity. That's all I have to say. Kingdom of Ash is right behind it. We're going to keep going. 2019, I DNF'd the name of the wind. <laughs> this is when I was still reading fantasy. So it's not, you know, I still read this. This one has a 4.52 and it has 843,000 ratings. So that is rated extremely highly. And I know a lot of people love this. Like I do, I know that. I was bored shitless. And when I found that the series isn't finished and people have no idea when it will be, I DNF'd it. So it's not totally fair to say that I would have rated it super lowly, but knowing that it wasn't finished, I was literally like, I'm not giving it my time. So controversial opinion, but if the series ever gets finished, then we'll then we'll dive into it. Okay, let's see if there's another one I disagree with. Come on. I agree with everyone. Okay, so This Is Love by Ivy Smoke. This was The Light to My Darkness book three. So this was a series that came after a series. So this was one where like she wrote a series and then there was extended. And now she's even doing this series in the hero's point of view. And I read that one too, because it was a thing. But I gave this one two and a half stars. Um, and it has an average rating of 4.46, which again, it makes sense because this is very far into a series. So the people reading it are stands for Hunter and Penny, like they just are James and Penny. But for me, I was just tired of the author dragging us along and causing problems for them and just wouldn't let them be happy. So this one, I was like, this book is the smallest book, which consisted of a lot of previous material and remembered flashbacks because she has like lost her memory so all right what's another one that I agree with we can talk about I mean there's a lot of it's funny because I thought that there would be more traditionally published authors like up here and there I mean like SJM and the Harry Potter books are very high up on this list totally makes sense like I get it but also I love that some of the indie books are so high up here Come on, I want you to tell me what Tristan has. So this one has an average of 4.48, which by the way, I have an arc for the do-over and I can't wait to read it. Okay, and this book has recently like, these books went around TikTok and it was great and it was back on like the bestseller list again, which made me so happy. So this one has an average of 4.48 and it's out of 47,000 ratings, which just makes me so happy. This book is, it brings me so much joy. Um, yeah, I think like all of these I agree with guys. This wasn't as interesting as the ones that I rated poorly for the worst one because because I tended to like disagree with the opinion. But see, I also agree with people's opinions a lot. You know what I mean? So it's very interesting. There aren't really like I'm... 200 down in my list and I'm just like agree with everyone oop there's another light to my darkness one that I gave three stars and everyone gave high ratings but I'm trying to find just one other one. Oh, okay here's one here's one we'll talk about this and this will be the last one um so this one has a 4.4 Four, two, and this is Blood of Eve by Pam Godwin. So also though, this one's only out of 600 ratings because this is her like first series and it's the least popular one she has. And in my opinion, it's very understandable why. Because Blood of Eve, I gave uh, two stars and like my review is so angry y'all because this one has a character death in it and literally I spoil in my review. I was like, spoiler alert. I will not forgive this. Why did no one tell me this book ends this way? What the fuck? 
yes, I'm the bitch who's going to tell you. You can thank me later. And then I say what the spoiler is. <laughs> I was so angry at this book. I can laugh about it now. I can laugh about it now. Because, like, Pam wasn't really writing romance yet. Like, she didn't have a style. She didn't have... She wasn't fully sunk into the HEA genre yet, you know, like being there yet. But I had only ever read her books with an HEA before. And so this book was literally like a hammer to the face. And I cried and raged and I was so angry. I did not know my favorite author could also make me so angry. <laughs> But I can laugh about it because she can write whatever book she wants and I can give it two stars if I want. That's how it goes. But she is a talented writer no matter what. So anyway, I think we'll end it there because all the rest I just agree with. And it's just me nodding my head sycophantically and being like, oh, I love them all. Uh, but this was really fun. I hope you liked this video. Um, I have a couple rec videos planned that will be next week but like I said I have a lot that I have to get done the week you're watching this and I need to not be thinking about like filming and editing and coming up with ideas I need to be able to focus but uh thank you all for sticking around and being here make sure you like this video and subscribe if you are looking for some recommendations I have an entire playlist with like hundreds of videos with recommendations so definitely check that out thank you so much for watching y'all and I'll see you next time Bye.